Hello and welcome to Daily News with a Bunny. Yep, and here's my little bunny boy bandit and he's shitting all over again. Ugh, I swear. I can never seem to really get him to not shed. I guess it's impossible. Ah, uh, yeah. He usually lives outside, but because it's so hot here in the summers, we keep him. In, I'm keeping him inside. So, yep. And of course, so he has decided. Yeah, his little body has decided to shed everywhere. Um. So anyway, um, not much has gone on the last few days. I have class. I had class yesterday, so I was a little bit preoccupied. Um. And I figured, okay, well, I'll do a video today because I couldn't get one out yesterday. Um, yeah, so much for it being that much of a daily news. Anyway, there is some news that I just found out about on... Oh, God, I got rabbit fur all over me now. Um, yeah, I just found out that um, there's news now about um, the Mr. Pandaria update for um, expansion. Sorry. For World of Warcraft, as it turns out, um, on if you go into your um, accounts and look on the PTR, um, there's an option about upgrading to um, a digital deluxe edition, which just sounds kind of cool. So it seems like that Blizzard may have decided that they want to allow people to have a collector's edition type thing without maybe necessarily all the extras. But maybe some of them instead of all of them. It's, I think that's kind of cool. Um, that's why I think it is, because it sounds like what it is. Because it sounds like what they did, for instance, with um, with um, with Knights of the Old Republic. So they may just be copying that and figuring, oh, well, how about we give um, players an option that if you want to get the the pets and stuff from the you know, you want the digital part of um, owning, you know, um, collector's edition, but you don't want the books and stuff. Well, here you go. Which I figured that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, I sure hope that doesn't mean that the actual collector's edition's price is going to be up through the roof. But, yeah, we'll see. Still no release date, which is kind of surprising because, like, they're getting ready to start the 25-man raid stuff, <laughs> testing. So it's like, they're already there. They've got a ton of new stuff about to come back, um, come on the next, next, um, on the next, um, beta, um, update. I mean, yeah, the next beta patch, which is kind of cool, and they still got the PTR, but no, um, yeah, I don't get why there still isn't, um, any announcement about what it is, unless either they want to wait until, see, what may be what it may be, which I'm thinking is a possibility. If they want to tell the release date, that they do have a release date in mind, they maybe have one that's pretty close. But it may be that they're waiting for Comic Con to do it, which is kind of strange. But I mean, at Comic Con, I mean, they may be look waiting for um, Gamescom when they're going to have the actual trailer for the opening. Um, which, because they got most of the, it's like even most of the cinematics are not supposedly in the game, which is kind of cool. Um, the cinematic for um, the Pandarans who join the Horde is in the game. Of course, not the ones that join the Alliance still don't have that yet, which is kind of, so that's kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, I just, it, it seems kind of strange. I'm really kind of wondering why they're doing it, but yeah, who knows. You know, it could just be that they're, they might have a date, but they may not be ready, ready for it yet. Maybe they, they're mass, you know, for all we know, they could be making copies and they could be making like collector's editions and everything else and just waiting for the right moment to do it all. And then, you know, it'll be like, oh, here's a month. You got a month. So, it, I mean, you never know. I, yeah, I mean, part of it too, I think the reason why it's maybe, uh, Another one of the thoughts I think is that they may have had this. They may have originally thought, okay, we'll have this done by August twenty eighth, and um, because that's the release date of um, of um, Guild Wars two, they may have decided, okay, well that's maybe not the best idea to release um, Mr. Pandaria when Guild Wars two is going to be out. So they're thinking, hmm, 
let's hold off on that a little bit. But who knows? Oh god. Yeah, I know. This cam is really kind of funny. I keep seeing bunny fur float around. I know. Like I said, he's shedding. Anyway, so that's about that. I'm kind of excited, though, for um, a few things, but yeah. I think it's more because um, I'm more excited right now about some of my shows that I watch um, from online. Um, the Super Sentai series, um, Comrade Forze is almost over. And the next one is being called Comrade Wizard. Um, so, um, that'll be kind of interesting. Supposedly it's like a Kamen Rider who has, um, elemental rings, which he has, which tell it, so I don't really quite, it'll be interesting to see kind of how it works out anyway. Yeah, with wizards and stuff, so. It's kind of weird. A wizard driving around on a motorcycle. Oh, actually, that would be Harry Potter. <laughs> Wouldn't that, because that, Hagrid actually has one. So see, maybe it's like a Harry Potter homage or something like that. Wow. If so, that would be really cool, because then, could you imagine that, like, Harry Potter meets Kamen Rider? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Anyway, I know, he's been wanting to climb up on my shoulder all day today. Or at least for um, the part of the day that he's been awake. It's been, been like a couple hours. I don't know why he's been cuddling on my shoulder. No, he loves doing it. It's cute. But anyway, um, so I'm doing pretty good with school. It's taking up most of my time right now because <laughs> I'm trying to um, finish a project and getting some schoolwork done so I can have a little bit of free time. Um, I've been doing test runs of, of trying to figure out how to get the... Um, I've been doing test runs of everything that I have um, of making videos, trying to readjust things, because, uh, yeah, unfortunately, they're not going all that well, um, I think it's because of this new mic, I don't know if it's the microphone or what, but I'll figure it out, um, once I get the microphone stuff issues taken care of, and, you know, then I'll have everything posted up, it won't take me very long, um, everything else is going fairly good. Yeah, I definitely am going to do a LEGO Star Wars, the complete edition stuff. I figure I'll do, um, my videos will probably be only, like, one, um, scene at a time. We'll go through each scene, and then, um, I mean, each chapter of each movie, and then do a playthrough of the, and then when I'm all done with all those, then have playthroughs of the, of the storyline first and then do the free plays afterwards and then like the special stuff and, and whatnot um I'll we'll see uh, I still haven't fully decided on that yet <laughs> yeah but I definitely am going to do two versions I'm going to do one with talkie and one without talkie so that you can kind of have some you know fun with it um I figure that's a good way to put it because it's take it takes about 15 to 20 minutes per chapter to complete them even in story mode so, um, I figure I'll do that. I'll just play with that and, you know, we'll have some fun with that. Um, let me think about what else. Oh, I love this fuzzy bunny buddy. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, Bully Scholarship Edition will be coming down the line. Like I said, I'm just, I've been doing testing for all of them, and the testing hasn't quite turned out the way I want it to. Once I can get all the sis, once I can kind of get it situated right, where my voice and everything comes out just right on it, um, then there'll be videos up. I, that's just all it is. I've been every day. I've been sitting up, making, te doing, te running another test, readjusting stuff, seeing if well, kind of come up the best, so that you guys can have a really as best as I can really nice version to kind of look at. Um, so anyway, um, I'm still playing World of Warcraft a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, I was playing 3D Dot Game Heroes, but I haven't been up back on it for a while. Uh, it's kind of disappointing. It's kind of a short thing. 
I, I think probably because the fact that I'm doing something kind of similar for it to it um, for my school project I'm gonna come up with them um, a little top-down game like Zelda like game and I've been kind of um, working on kind of how I'm gonna work on it and everything um, but yeah. it'll be kind of interesting I think once I get it all done it will be set and I can kind of get some things done and we'll see kind of how it works <sighs> anyway so that'll be kind of exciting and then I can have some fun with my bone boy and everything. Uh, let's see. There's not too much else going on at the moment because I'm still waiting for the next episode to come right for me. And I haven't really gotten back um, into the um, Super Sentai stuff, which is kind of disappointing because, yeah, I'm like a whole season behind still. So, um, well, a season and a half. Well, almost a season and a half now behind. So I'm gonna try and get through the rest, through that one. So I loved the last. I loved them. Um, the last seasons, and, and then there's Go Busters. I, I haven't even watched it. Well, no, I've I have seen a bit of the first episode of Go Busters, which is kind of cool. So I can't wait to actually see the whole thing. Uh, yeah, but I'll do that later. Um. I know. This guy is shedding so much. There's fur flying all over in the video. It's really embarrassing. I know. My bed's a little messy right now. Um, anyway, so I'm going to be doing that. So eventually you'll see that stuff. Just like I said, I want to have it at least like semi-decent. So I don't have to do any real editing for it. Because I think in, in those instances it doesn't really need too much editing anyway. Uh, you know, if it doesn't sound natural, then it's just, you know, I don't want to have there be little glips and, and stuff like that, and then you can kind of take out what you want from it. Uh, same thing with, like, bully and whatnot. Um, I'll figure out how I divide up bully once I get that started, once I get everything adjusted right. But, yeah, I'm, I'm getting close. I think I'm almost done with the adjustment stuff, and once I'm done with, it, with making sure all my adjustments are just right, because I think the biggest problem is this is a new computer, so I um, I don't really have the handle on this one that I did my other one because I'd had it a long while, and this is just basically brand new. So I'm getting used to kind of the quirks of this computer that I made. Um, other than that, there's really not much going on. Um, yeah, well, there was something else. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, I've been watching um, Twiddle Dama Revenge of the Island. At least, um, which is kind of cool. And I can't wait. I mean, this is, this week is the last week before they start the new, they start back up on um, Scooby Doo um, Mystery um, Incorporated, which is going to be so cool because it's like, they left it at such a great cliffhanger. And I'm just glad that at least this series will have like a full run which is really unusual for a Scooby-Doo series because usually they get cancelled or they get canned and then all of a sudden it's like they get to a point it's like okay um whatever well because that happened like um the last one that they tried um which had like a whole pl like plot that went around it was called Scooby-Doo get Scooby-Doo gets a clue I think it was or get a clue and it was about Sh Scooby and Shaggy and like um, some special Scooby snacks with nano nanites in it and stuff like that and yeah it was kind of weird <laughs> and that one they did one series and then one season of it and it was they left an ending where it was okay if something more is going to happen but then they just kind of went the, the whole thing fell apart so it was like okay well <laughs> You got a big hole at the end of yours again. It was just like, I man, it was just horrible. It was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, but at least this one will have a full run, which will be really cool. There's um, this season I think has another has twenty six episodes because they're fifty two in total. So yeah, another twenty six is coming down the pipeline. Um, <laughs> Except for this time around, um, instead of it being um, once a week, 
they're doing once a day, five days a week, which will be kind of cool. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, there'll be ex episodes of it at, I think it's what, 2 Eastern time on Cartoon Network, which I'm like, oh yeah, finally. It's like at least this way, even if it is that they just plow out all 26 um, pretty quickly, that um, at least we'll get to see the whole series and that I can, and there will actually be a really cool, I'm really hoping, I think the ending of this will be kind of cool. Supposedly they're going to be going all over the world now because now that it turns out that the pieces of this, um, that the, the planospheric disc, disc pieces aren't, supposedly are not all in, in, um, in um in crystal cove which is like oh that's kind of cool so that um according to yes yeah, some of the um previews uh, so, um some of the little things about what the episodes are going to be if they're going to be in other places there's going to be uh, a lot of the characters from season one will show back up like hot dog girl is going to show back up again um, hot dog water sorry is what they called her <laughs> Which is interesting, because, like, the last episode she was in, it was revealed that she actually does bathe in hot dog water. Because her father owns a carnival, the only carnival in, um, um, or, I mean, amusement park in Crystal Cove. But nobody was really going to it. And so, to save money, one of the things the father was doing was the water they were using to boil the hot dogs in, they were using the shower in. So that kind of explains that. So she really was bathing in hot dog water. It's like, okay. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, man. But I can't wait because, yeah, th this will be interesting because um, we'll finally get to see what happened with Julia. With um, Brad and Julie is supposed to, they're both supposed, supposed to show up in this part of the series. There's, um,. Daphne is going to have a boyfriend in it who is not Fred, which will be kind of interesting because um, Fred, I think, is kind of in an in-between state of kind of wanting to know his parents um, now that he knows who his parents really are and um, wanting to have a life with Daphne. Which will be interesting because um, there's, there's a, a bit of kind of almost spoilers that maybe... Um, that um that um Daphne's new boyfriend may actually be some kind of villain in the series maybe the second half's kind of villain as well as Professor Pericles should be really kind of interesting to see what they do especially because I think in the I'm I'm almost betting that by the end that they'll actually get to see the treasure and so this will be kind of interesting because there's a big treasure under Crystal Cove supposedly that's pirate's treasure and it's cursed and everything, and that's kind of the whole premise of the main storyline, is the um, is um, about the curse of Crystal Cove that supposedly has to do with the um, with the pirate treasure. Supposedly, anybody who sees it ends up cursed, and I mean, um, anybody who tries to go after it ends up cursed and everything. But the thing is, so far, it ha as as much as everybody thought that was true. It's turned out it hasn't been true, so it might not actually be cursed. There may just be booby trapped, and the curse might be just a made-up thing, or it may actually be a real thing. I don't know. It'll be really interesting, especially with Professor Pericles, to see the um, see what happens. Because Scooby Doo has pretty much vowed. Yet yeah, Scooby Doo vowed at the end of the last series that not only was he going to get back Mystery Inc., which is what happens in the very first episode of this new season, but he also vowed to take down um, Professor Pericles and actually get the treasure himself. Um, which could be possible. Or it may be one of those things where everybody's going to lose the treasure. The treasure's going to be lost to everybody. Nobody will have it. Or it may be something where the treasure is something... It might not be jewels and money. It might be something else. Who knows? But yeah, that will be kind of cool. And if they do, then I'm really kind of wondering what they'll do with the next Scooby-Doo series. Because, you know... Or if they even will do in a, another Scooby-Doo series. I mean, the movies still do so well. I mean, cartoon... They seem to have, like, a new cartoon movie, like, about every couple months. So I don't really know why TV series isn't doing very well. Could just be Cartoon Network. 
it, it's one of those things. Cartoon Network at times has a really good lineup, and then they just kill out all the series and they put junk in its place. I mean, it's like Adult Swim. I mean, Adult Swim's turned into a pile of poo. But anyway, um, we're getting on 20 minutes, so um, I'm going to go ahead and go. And um, hopefully today, after a couple more tests, I'll be ready to start introducing the rest of some video, other videos, okay? Um, talk to you later. Bye.